says Operation Delta Safe LL Sustain Operation in Niger Delta by John Bosco Agbakwiru Abuja. Minister of Defense Mansa Dan Ali has told President Muhammadu Buhari that the military needs more equipment in order to tackle security challenges in the country. The minister also assured the president that the military through the Operation Delta Safe will continue to sustain its operations against illegal activities in the Niger Delta region with resultant reduction in illegal oil bunkering, militancy and pipeline vandalism. This was contained in a brief the minister presented to the National Security Council on security situation in the country at the president office, presidential villa Abuja on Thursday. The meeting was presided over by President Buhari before he travelled to Bauchi State for a senatorial by-election. Recall that $1 billion, about N359 billion, was approved by the National Economic Council NEC, in December 2017 for the fight of Boko Haram and other security challenges in the country. This money had generated controversy in my head National Assembly and even some People's Democratic Party governors kicked against the removal of the money from the excess crude account. Present at the security meeting with the President were the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant Gabriel Olinashek and Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant Gen. Uburatai, Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral Ibokata Ibiaz, Chief of Air Staff, Sadiq Abu Bakar, Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, National Security Advisor, Babagana Mongonu, the Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, Nia, the Chief of Defense Intelligence and the Chief of Staff to the President Abakari Dan Ali in his brief he presented at the meeting which was signed by the Public Relations Officer, Ministry of Defense, Colonel Tegur Gosau said, in view of the engagement of troops in various internal security operations across the country the Honorable Minister requested for provision of more equipment for the armed forces in order to sustain the tempo in the fight against insurgency and other security challenges across the country. In order to forestall future security incidences in Zamfara, Sokoto and Bernangwari Axis Operation Sharan Daji has been extended to cover up to the fringes of Niger border. The operation has recently been reinforced with more troops from the Nigerian Armed Forces, Nigeria Police and Department of State Services and is supported by the Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Wing of 207 Quick Response Group of the Nigerian Air Force. The joint operation has successfully arrested some suspected armed bandits and recovered arms and ammunition. Similarly, in order to checkmate the criminal activities along Abuja-Kaduna Highway, security agencies have been directed to increase patrols along the axis to address cases of attacks and kidnappings. There was a review of Operation Safe Haven leading to appointment of a new commander in the North Central. The Honorable Minister also reiterate the need for the deployment of the Nigeria Police and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps in all areas liberated by the military in the Northeast in order to consolidate on the gains of military operations as well as to enable the military push forward in its clearance operations. The South South Honorable Minister of Defense informed the Council that Operation Delta Safe has sustained its operations against illegal activities in the Niger Delta region with resultant reduction in illegal oil bunkering, militancy and pipeline vandalism. The minister used the occasion to congratulate President Buhari on his recent election as the new ECOWAS chairman. He reminded the Council that the armed forces of Nigeria in collaboration with other security agencies are doing a lot to address the turbulent security situation in the country.